In this video, we will learn how to program analog input output of G100. Analog voltage and current inputs through the inverter control terminals can be used for various commands, such as setting the command frequency and torque commands, as well as feedback when using the PID function. Depending on the load system, the minimum and maximum value of reference or feedback may vary. For example, if 0 volts is entered, it stops at 0 Hz, and when 10 volts is entered, it operates at the maximum frequency. In some cases, you might want to stop the inverter when 2 volts is entered, or you might want to operate at the maximum frequency when only 8 volts is entered. In this case, you must set the frequency for the analog input. The concept of the analog output is the same. The multifunctional analog output terminals, such as the AO terminal, allows inverter operation information, such as output frequency and output current, to be converted to voltage or current. In this case, the actual output voltage or current can be adjusted according to the output value. Next, we will learn how to set the analog input-output range. First, let's learn how to set the target frequency with the analog 0 to 10 volts input. The analog input-related terminals are VR+, V1, I2, and CM. VR terminal is 0 to 10 volts output terminal, and V1 terminal is analog voltage input terminals, I2 is analog current input terminal, and CM is for common terminal of analog input and output. When using analog input from an external device, wire the V1 and CM terminals or I2 and CM terminals properly to drives terminals as mentioned above. When using inverter's internal power source, you can wire a potentiometer of 1 kilo to 5 kilo ohm to VR plus V1 and CM. Parameters related to analog input can be set in in-group. First, set in-group 6 to unipolar because we will not use negative voltage here. If the range of minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts is needed, set it as bipolar. You can set the time constant of filter for analog voltage inputs in in-group 7. Parameters in group 8 to 11 allow you to set the range of input voltage. Here, you can set the minimum input voltage and the corresponding frequency, and maximum input voltage and corresponding frequency. The frequency corresponding to 100% of the analog input can be set in parameter in group 1. Next, we will learn how to set analog input related parameters using the G100 keypad. In this video, we'll program the inverter to run 0 Hz at 2 volts, 60 Hz at 9.5 volts. First, by using the direction keys, set number 1 FXRX1 in driving group DRV. Set number 2 V1 in FRQ and move to in group. Set the minimum input voltage to 2 volts in in-group 8 and set the corresponding input level to 0% in in-group 9. Set the maximum input voltage to 9.5 volts in in-group 10 and set the corresponding input level to 100% in in-group 11. Next, we will learn about setting up 0 to 10 volt analog outputs. 
analog output terminals are AO and CM terminals. AO is the analog voltage output terminal, and CM is the analog input and output common terminal. To output voltage with a voltmeter, connect the two terminals AO and CM. Parameters for analog output can be set in the OU group. The AO terminal is a multifunction output terminal. Therefore, you can directly select the output item for AO in OU group 1 parameter. The output items can be selected from the operating frequency shown on the screen to the fixed value output. In this video, we will select the zero operating frequency. In OU group 2, you can set the gain value for analog output. And in OU group 3, you can set the bias value for analog output. Gain and bias are reflected in the output as the formulas shown on the screen. Next, we will learn how to use the keypad to monitor the frequency through the output of 2 to 10 volts. In this video, we will set the output to 2 volts at 0 Hz and 10 volts at 60 Hz. First, move to the OU group and set the frequency to 0 in AO mode 1. In OU group number 2 AO gain, set the gain for analog output to 80%. And in OU group number 3, AO bias, set the bias value for analog output to 20%. The frequency at 100% input can be set in in group 1 parameter. It does not always work with the maximum frequency, so be sure to check it. If you want to set the maximum frequency to 100 Hz and operate at 100 Hz when the analog input voltage is at its maximum, you must change the in group 1 parameter to the same value. If the analog signal contains noise components, set the in group 7 V1 filter accordingly. Next, let's run the test under the parameter conditions set above. Wire the potential meter using internal power source to the VR, V1, and CM terminals, then rotate the potentiometer and verify that the target frequency changes. Below 2 volts, the frequency command becomes 0 Hz. Above 8 volts, the frequency command is 60 Hz. Next, we will test the analog output. Bias is set to 20% and gain is set to 80%, and the graph is drawn according to the output frequency as shown on the screen. We have learned how to adjust analog input and output of G100. Thank you.